Hello everyone, so today I have a new video for you. I thought I'd do something slightly different. It's probably a bit outdated, but like I just really really wanted to do it because I haven't done, I don't think I've done any tag videos on my channel as of yet. So this is just like a little tag just to get to know a bit more about me, about my music taste and what sort of music I love. So I've got a uh, quite a few questions written down on two sides <laughs> literally what a fail literally just went right on my lipstick anyway um <laughs> so yeah i've got two sets of questions on this notepad and yeah i'm just gonna go through them you can just know about a little bit more about my music taste what i love what i hate that sort of thing without further ado let's get into it Now I'm a bit of a cheat, like I don't really own albums by a band, like unless I'm really 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 into a band or an artist, obviously I'll probably be listening to the whole album but it's very very rare unless I really like an artist or a band that that happens. I don't tend to buy albums, I tend to stream them, <laughs> which is not great but you know, got to support your artist in some way or another, so hopefully streaming does help them. But yeah, so I tend to stream them. I don't really know what to say for this because I don't own albums per se. It's just more like songs from different albums. So quite a few. I mean, if I had to really say about like in terms of like the albums that I, or the most albums from artists, I'd probably say sort of like Billy Talent, Five Finger Death Punch, that sort of thing. I'm not entirely sure though, I have so much music <laughs> on my computer and on my iPod. I'm old school, I've got an iPod still from like 2006. I've got all that sort of stuff. I've got loads of stuff on my Spotify, so I can't really tell you an accurate answer for that. But as I said, I have so many different artists, so many albums, but I don't have full albums per se. So yeah, I can't really answer that question. I'm not actually sure. Oh yeah, I was listening to music like literally just before I filmed this video. So the last song that I listened to, I believe was Breaking and Entering by Tonight Alive. Such an epic song. I love it to pieces. Probably one of my faves from their first album, to be honest. I absolutely adore it. It's such a banging tune. I don't actually have a CD player anymore. When I was younger, I used to. I used to have one of those really cool Walkmans that were popular in the noughties. Um, the Sony Walkmans, they were really sick at the time. I used to own one of those, but I don't have a CD player anymore, so I can't answer that either, which I probably should have <laughs> gathered before answering this tag. But, you know, this is... I think this is a tag from years ago when CDs were popular so I can't really answer that. I attended Tonight Live in Bristol which was I think it was like three weeks ago so yeah and I miss it. It was such a good night. Really loved it and I think they're coming back to the UK at the end of the year and I really want to see them again because they were so 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 good live. If you haven't seen them and you're a fan I recommend that you go and see them live. They will blow your mind. Oh greatest show. I have seen a lot of bands <laughs> so this is a real tough contest for me but I'd probably say the greatest show that I've seen probably System of a Down was up there, to be honest. It was definitely up there. Their, everything was just amazing about them. Their stage presence, the way they got the crowd going, the lighting, it was just epic. And because I saw them at Download Festival a couple of years ago, they played for two hours. I missed pretty much, I think I missed like half of it, so I only saw them for an hour, but that was pretty sick. Like, I wish I was there for the two hours. They were so, so, so good. And also Ramstein as well. I saw them, I think it was like 2015 at Download. <laughs> they were pretty sick as well. I would definitely recommend them. They were epic. Their lighting was insane as well. So, so good. Great show. I, I don't know what I'd probably pick out of those. Probably System of a Down, to be honest, because, you know, they're legends. <laughs> 
Oh, <laughs> spilling some tea. <laughs> Worst show that I attended. Oh, um, now <laughs> probably. Oh, this is gonna sound really bad. The worst show that I've attended, I've attended most of my shows at Download Festival over the years. I've been, I think it's like three or four years running. I'm not going this year though. That's where I've seen most of the acts I've seen. The probably the worst show there, oh God, would probably have to be, I hate to say it, but against the current. I really love Against the Current. I, I love a few of their songs. I think they're really, really cool. They're definitely up my vibe. Very pop rock sort of style stuff. Very catchy songs. I don't know, there's something about the lead singer. She was just so sort of up herself and arrogant and it really put me off the whole show. And because they were there as like um, a support because a band that I don't actually know the name of <laughs> popped out at the last minute. So they were like the replacement of this band. And they were so bloody cocky. The lead singer was just a dick. Like, <laughs> I can't even begin to tell you. She was just really over the top. She was like, no one's enjoying my music, that sort of thing. And it really put me off. And they're just really shit, to be honest. Yeah, I didn't enjoy that at all. There's probably not really that many bands that I've seen live that I didn't really like, though, apart from that. <laughs> Well, I've not really been musically involved. I just obviously love music. I sing sort of like casually. I don't do any lessons for it, but I do sing sort of like in my bedroom, in the bath. <laughs> I just sing sort of like thinking that no one will hear me and actually probably the whole apartment building will probably be able to hear me sing when I sing because I do not do it quietly. But I would, this is a little spoiler for you. I am thinking about taking up singing lessons. Me and my boyfriend are planning to move house in the next couple of weeks. So when we do actually find a new house and a new place, I am gonna be trying to take up singing lessons because this is quite a new thing. Like it's not even a thing that I've really wanted to do like all my life or anything, but I've really liked the idea of like being a front woman. <laughs> this sounds probably insane because I'm quite socially awkward. <laughs> but I really like the idea of just sort of like, leading a band, being the vocalist, rocking out on stage. I love that idea. So I really, really hope that I can improve my voice enough that I can actually find the confidence to actually start a band or join an existing band because that'd be epic. I'd love to do that. And I feel like it would really help my confidence as well and be less of a socially awkward human. <laughs> so I really feel like that would help me. I just love music and I'd love to be able to like write my own melodies and all that sort of jazz as well as the lyrics and I'd love to be able to write like properly meaningful songs. It's something that I've experimented with but I've never properly done so I'd love to be able to do that as well in a band. I'd love to do like original stuff not covers um, but that's something that'll probably appear in the next few months. I don't think it'll be like oh as soon as we move I'm definitely gonna start a band because I know that there's work I need to do on my voice before that happens. And yeah, I, I just think it'd be really fun, really, as well. I just think it'd be really cool. Just a hobby, really, just to do in my spare time when I'm not working. So yeah, that is the most musically involved I'm going to be. <laughs> well, I'm going to see two shows in the next few months. I'm going to see Rita Ora next month. And I'm going to see Ed Sheeran in June, which I am so excited about. That rush for the ticket. So it was mental for Ed Sheeran but yeah we managed to get them me and my mum are going um, in Cardiff and I literally am so excited Ed Sheeran is going to be amazing live but the show I'm probably looking forward to is probably Ed Sheeran out of both of them even though I love them both but yeah Ed Sheeran will be amazing I'm pretty sure of that I have quite a few fan t-shirts uh, la, 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 la. but my, probably my favourite Oh, and I'll actually get it for you. Okay, my favourite band t-shirt is definitely my Falling in Reverse one. It looks like this. I just love the colours in it so much and I wear it all the time. And yeah, because it's like a sleeveless one, I just got this on eBay. <laughs> it wasn't from an actual show, sadly, but um, yeah, this is a really good one just to wear all the time. You can layer it up, you can wear it on its own. Yeah, so this is my favourite. I just love the design. It rocks. <laughs> 
because I have such a varied music taste, probably actually quite a few musicians I'd love to hang out with for a day. Lady Gaga obviously being one of them, that's obvious. Like I just love to know what she's like in real life, just like on a standard day, you know, is she mental or is she sort of like quite a chilled out person? I'd really love to know that actually. <laughs> Probably like Marilyn Manson, even though he's pretty mental. I'd love to just hang out with him and just see like what he gets up to, you know, what his hobbies are. <laughs> He'd be pretty cool. Obviously, Jenna McDougal from Tonight Live, the lead singer. I think she'd be pretty sick to hang out with as well. She's got really good values and she just seems like a really chill, cool person. And yeah, she actually inspired me to like try and start singing and start a band and stuff <laughs> so yeah I would actually love to hang out with her as well oh there's so many I'd love to hang out with it depends as well if the if this question includes like dead artists <laughs> because I probably love to hang out with like Michael Jackson or or Prince would be pretty sick you know someone like that someone that has, has had a big career I just love to just see like how down to earth they are you know that'd be so 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 cool i listened to a lot of cheesy music when i was very young probably like sort of from about eight i think eight was when i started to listen to music when i was eight years old probably up to like 14 was probably my cheesy years uh la, 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 la. which musician or group would i wish for me to come back oh <laughs> this is really embarrassing but i'd probably say something like s club seven or probably aqua <laughs> it's really really cringy but probably someone a bit like that or hmm who else do i love or even like girls aloud i used to love them when i was younger and yeah i think they'd be pretty cool abba would be awesome if they made a comeback but i don't really see that happening but that'd be pretty sick most of the artists that i do this like listen to are still together so this is quite difficult oh yeah another artist i'd love to make a comeback is a group that i used to love sort of like my late teens and that is like 2020 and future proof as well they okay so i listened to a band called room 94 and they all sort of tour together so i sort of found out about 2020 and then i found out about room 94 and future proof because they're all touring together um so yeah i'd probably say 2020 and future proof because they had some bangers when they were together i i love them and i never got to see 2020 live so i need to make it my mission to see them live <laughs> so please let you come back so you can make that happen oh probably falling in reverse this is a very sort of like controversial answer because i know like ronnie has got into a lot of shit with like different countries and like being illegal and all that sort of stuff but yeah i'd love to see falling in reverse like i love quite a few of their songs i think they'd be really cool live new year's day as well i really want to make it my my absolute mission to see them live this year in this moment oh there's quite a few marmosets they're quite like a new find of mine that i really love so i definitely want to see them live who else have i never seen but want to 2020 again uh, demi lovato and selena gomez demi lovato is doing a tour this year and i really want to go because there's still tickets but i'm like oh <laughs> money <laughs> so this is hard because i don't even like listen to albums but i suppose i have listened to quite a few so i'll give them a go and this is another controversial answer so definitely cry baby by melanie martinez that is an outstanding album i know she's got a lot of shit recently in the press due to like you know different things going on in her personal life she's actually a really really good artist i love the meaning of her songs and that album i had on repeat pretty much all of last year another flawless album probably is it drown by bring me the horizon i think that's the name of the album i really love a lot of the songs on that album i haven't listened to it all but i do love quite a lot of them i think that was a pretty sick album by them and um, a lot of this 
previous stuff I wasn't really into because I'm not really into like proper screamo sort of music but their newest album is a bit of both and I really enjoyed it. Probably Nina Nesbitt what album that new one Peroxide uh, well not new anymore but a lot of the songs on there are very cool she's a bit more like acoustic sort of folk rock I suppose, fake pop I suppose, something like that so yeah I do listen to a lot of different artists but yeah that album I was listening to a lot as well because I went to see her live, amazing um, and Underworld as well by Tonight Live, they're like my new obsession <laughs> their new album is sick so I'd highly recommend it as well now this is a tricky question <laughs> i've been to so many i have been to download festival four times so i'm not gonna sort of say who i've seen because i suppose that's just like concept anyway so the first artists that i saw were busted back in the day and i've seen mcfly live i've seen busted if you count that as well i've seen room 94 who are quite like an independent band love them I've seen Future Proof, probably no one's heard of them who's watching this. I've seen, who else have I seen? I have seen Tonight Live, I've seen Five Finger Death Punch, I've seen System of a Down, I've seen, who else have I seen? <laughs> this is going to be a long list. I've seen, I've seen The Dirty Youth, I've seen The Darkness, I've seen... <laughs> I've already found it, 10 artists that I've seen like, I've seen, who else have I seen, Hailstorm, I've seen, I don't want this to be too long and boring you to death, <laughs> I'm trying to think really quickly but it's hard, I've seen Shine Down. I've seen A Day to Remember, I've seen Rob Zombie, he was epic, I've seen, oh gosh, I've seen Good Charlotte, I've seen Simple Plan, I've seen... <laughs> The list literally goes on guys, it goes on and on and on and on and on. So I've seen a fair few, <laughs> let's just step right there. I plan on seeing a lot more, I've seen a, quite a fair few artists live. I'm not going to bore you with how many different ones. I'm probably just going to, if I think about it, I'm probably just going to put the number of artists or whatever that I've seen live somewhere in this video. If I can be bothered to actually count how many because there's quite a few. Right, now this is going to be really embarrassing. I'm sorry guys, this is so embarrassing. It's probably... <laughs> it's probably Hairspray or High School Musical. Any of the High School Musical soundtracks are my jam. Which is probably a bit embarrassing, but it's fine. I love musicals, so... Yeah, let's just move on. <laughs> probably the sort of phase that I had sort of from about 11, no, probably from like eight years old till I was about 18, where I just listened to pop music constantly. There was a few like pop punky songs I used to listen to back in the day, like Stacey's mom has got it going on and like uh, Bonnie for Soup and MCR and that sort of thing. I wasn't like a massive fan. I literally just listened to them because my friends were listening to them but I wasn't like a hardcore fan at all of them at that time. I wish that I <laughs> didn't have that phase where I was just to pop music because all my friends were to pop music and listening to all the shit songs. I mean, I know there were really, there were so many good pop songs back in the day, but I'm so glad I don't listen to chart music as much now because a lot of it that I keep hearing is shit. <laughs> I definitely wisened up and then from about 18 years of age onwards, not 18, maybe 16, I started listening to bands such like Bullet for My Valentine, System of a Down, that sort of good stuff. And I'm so glad that I made that transition. <laughs> Thank you, Gemma, if you're watching this, because you helped me with that transition. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Who is my girly pleasure music? Probably sort of like S Club 7, S Club 8. I cannot help but go back and listen to that and be like, they're pretty much bangers. I know I was probably like eight, nine years old when they came out, but yeah, they're my guilty pleasure. Um, as well as 
the High School Musical soundtracks. Again, a lot of their songs I listen to on the down low. I don't think there's many artists that I'm like regret listening to, to be honest. I have such a weird variety of music. No, I don't think there's any more, to be honest. I can't actually think of any. Guilty Pleasures. Probably just like really cheesy stuff. Like remember that band called Alphabet? <laughs> that like were around in sort of like, I think they're around in the late noughties, early noughties, around that sort of, no, maybe mid noughties. I think they were mid, like mid to late noughties. They were really cool, you know, fascination. <laughs> that was such a tune. It's probably just like really cheesy shit like that. It's probably my guilty pleasure. I love sort of upbeat songs. I suppose as well, I love a lot of 80s music. I suppose that's like guilty pleasure, even though I'm not guilty about it. Like I generally really love 80s music. That isn't a guilty pleasure, but a lot of people probably see that as being a guilty pleasure. So yeah, I think that we've come to the end of the questions. I hope you really enjoy listening to my answers for this tag. I really enjoyed actually answering this. A lot of them I can answer just due to how old these questions are. I don't know why I really picked out this tag because a lot of them relate to like CD players and albums, which I don't really listen to. I hope that you enjoyed this anyway. I wanted to share my music taste with you guys and just wanted to see if you guys like the same bands as me. I think that'd be pretty cool. So yeah, anyway, if you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. That would help me so much. As well as maybe give me a little subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. I post a new video every Saturday morning at 9am. If you would love to leave a comment, that'd be pretty awesome as well. Just saying like, if maybe if you listen to any of the bands that I listen to, or if you, even if you don't like them, I'm not gonna take any offense to that though. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool if like, anyone goes to download festival in the reg that's watching this video that'd be pretty sick hope you enjoy this video and i will see you in my next video guys bye